Got a John Deere 6.8 liter PowerTech engine. It's a 6068 HRW01. This is a 7020 series, also fits a 7010 series. So this engine has been, uh, we're gonna call it a certified long block because we did a, we removed all the fuel system, removed all the air system. So for us, a long block is valve covered oil pan, oil cooler, front cover with water pump, and fuel injectors. These engines are also made to be interchangeable. So it does have a rear mount on it, flywheel cover. You may, you may have to change it or your oil pan based on your application, but nothing inside the engine. So this engine has had a, um, I'm gonna read my list, so give me a, bear with me. We did a compression test. It, everything is in spec. This, this spec sheet will also be with the engine, so you can look at it yourself. Did a cylinder leak down test. Everything was in spec. Put oil in the engine and whirled it over. So it um, had 25 pounds of oil pressure just cranking it over, so we know it's going to have good oil pressure because that's, that's it within the low end spec. Removed the oil pan. Pulled the, all the main bearings, inspected the bearings, showed no signs of wear. So, no signs of wear on the main bearings. Retorqued them, didn't pull the main caps, because, or excuse me, the rod bearings, because there was no need to. Mains were good. The uh, Also was able to look at the liner hash marks from the bottom side. They all look good, so we're going to suggest that this engine's been overhauled at some point. There's some telltale signs that, there's some signs of that. Also, the, we're able to inspect the front drivetrain gear, timing gears, camshaft gear, and the camshaft while it was being whirled over. Installed a new oil pan gasket, put a new front and rear main seal in, removed the water pump, checked the specs on it. You can see that it's been replaced because it's got a different color on it. Re uh, put a new gasket on it. Also pulled the oil cooler. And oil cooler is something that's way overlooked in any non-complete engine in our opinion. Because if you buy a short block or a long block, normally the oil cooler is not on it. And the problem there is that if you put a contaminated oil cooler onto a new rebuilt, remanned, whatever engine, all you did was just put all that old metal right back into your new engine. And from an OEM point of view, you're probably gonna have a problem with a warranty. So we just wanna solve that. Let's just take that away. Even if you have an application that, that requires you to change any of this, the cooler itself is, 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 doesn't have, it doesn't have to be changed. It's usually the, the, the plumbing, if you will. So we wanna know that we put a new, excuse me, a good, clean oil cooler on an engine, no matter if it's used to rebuild whatever. So that's super important. So after uh, we did all that, pulled the valve cover, ran the overhead. And so we adjusted the valves. Now that will have to be done a final step once it's installed and running. Put a new valve cover gasket on it. It's also got a, uh, we put a new gasket on the fill tube. It's got a new John Deere oil filter. It's got our lifting hooks that are part of your core criteria. We want those back, but that helps you get this engine out. Helps get the old one back into the crate. And then here are, um, it's got a set of injectors. Injectors that were in this, they have, these are cheap injectors. Uh, the other ones had a little bit of different pattern on them. So we just put new ones in it for new John Deere injectors. So certified long block, 6068 or 6.8 liter power tech. This will make a good engine. Um, we're tinkering around with some warranty. 
for sure this has 12 months on it but be sure and ask about um, 24 month and 36 month options